What is an abolitionist? An abolitionist is somebody who abolishes something or puts something to an end. For example, I abolish the water bottle. I present to you Thomas Garrett. Thomas was born in Upper Darby, Delaware County, Pennsylvania. Say that 10 times fast. He was a member of the Religious Society of Friends. Anyone who was a member of this society was called a friend, hence the name the Society of Friends. They were known for their unique style in worship, in dress, and in speech. Most friends believed that life was precious and God created everyone equal. As a result, many of them were abolitionists, or at the very least, were against slavery. Thomas was one of these. So what did abolitionists do? Well, abolitionists spoke publicly against slavery. They wrote anti-slavery newspapers, anti-slavery alphabets, anti-slavery books. They even changed laws to end slavery once and for all. But abolitionists were most famous for opposing slavery through a network called, you know it, the Underground Railroad. That's where Thomas Garrett comes in. He was always against slavery, but he didn't become an abolitionist until one fateful day. Thomas and his family often hired free black men and women to work on their farm. One day, 25-year-old Thomas rode home to find that one of their employees, a black woman, was kidnapped by two men in a wagon. Without hesitation, Thomas jumped on his horse and went after the kidnappers. They had a head start, but one of the wheels on their wagon was broken and left a distinct mark for him to follow. It was during this long chase that Thomas decided to dedicate the rest of his life to the defense of the oppressed and to help the throwing off of the yoke of slavery. Thomas traced the kidnappers about 10 miles to the Navy Yard in Philadelphia, but they had already gone. After asking around, Thomas tracked them another 10 miles to Kensington. He finally caught up to the wagon and found the two men in the bar and the kidnapped woman in the kitchen. He secured a release and brought her home. From that day on, Thomas never failed to help a fugitive who was looking for freedom. In the end, he assisted around 2,700 freedom seekers. And that's how Thomas Garrett became an abolitionist. Whoa. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. <laughs>